learn how to do a sign in process or integrate a sign in process into our apps. We'll be using Firebase to do this. Google Firebase. First, what I will be doing is creating a new Firebase app. So, I will go on to Firebase I'll search for Firebase and after that I'll go into the website I'm already logged in so I'll go to my console There it is. So now I will be creating a new app for the sake of this tutorial. I'll add a project. I'll add a project. I'll name it sign in process. The project ID is already generated. Uh, as I, I am in India, U United States is okay for me. Uh, we'll use the default settings and we'll also accept to the controller terms and create the project. So Primarily what we will be doing in this is creating variables for each user and com uh, combining that those variables we will be using it in MIT App Inventor. So in sign in process, in the left you can see that database is that we will be using the Firebase database. So we will go to database. And we don't want Cloud Firestore. We'll want only real-time database. That's simple. We click Create Database. And as we are not doing any official uh, app, we don't want it to be private. We can allow it to be public. So start in test mode and enable. Straight away enabled it, you'll get uh, a link here. So copy that link copy it and now we'll go into the app inventor part. In app inventor, let's add a new Firebase DB attribute. As it says, it's an experimental feature, but for me it's worked till now. It's not broken or anything. So in the Firebase token, I mean URL, you can paste that link and click persist. The project bucket is sign in process. Uh, Okay, so we have the project bucket and now we'll just like create two new sign uh, actually uh, yes so here we'll create two new uh, buttons so we'll create your new buttons this is for each one is for this sign in and sign up so i go here and in align vertical center align horizontal center and after here i'll just go 
Robert. Sign in. And sign up. Sign up. Okay. So we put sign in and sign up. After that, actually, I don't think we need the 5 db here. So we'll just delete it. We need the 5 base in those sign in and sign up screens. So I'll delete the 5 base. Delete it. By mistake, I deleted the sign up button also. So I'll also add that in. Sign up. And there we go. We are done with our first screen. So after that, we create a new screen. We'll name it Sign Up. So as we have named it Sign Up, this is where they'll be signing up. The new screen is getting generated. And now we are in the Sign Up screen. Now we need two text box or three so one for them to type in the new username one for the new password and one to check their password so what we'll be doing here is we'll be adding this in adding those in and then we'll be adding a button which is to create an account we will also be adding a notifier to let them know that the account is created. We will also add another screen which will be named sign in. Okay. And here we just need two text boxes and one button. So we will add those. And with this, the first part of our tutorial is over. Thank you.